and welcome back to BeHookedCrochet.com's product review series. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to my latest gadget, the Otlite Ultimate 3-in-1 Craft Link. Retailing for $299, the Ultimate 3-in-1 Craft Lamp is available exclusively at Joann Fabrics and Crafts. You can purchase it directly from their website at joann.com. A big thanks to our sponsor, Otlite, for providing us with today's lamp. The Otlite Ultimate 3-in-1 lamp has been a really valuable addition to my studio here at Be Hooked Crochet, as well as my little crochet corner down in my living room. It's one of those things that I was I was a little surprised by. I, I didn't really think that something like this would have as big of an impact as it had has on my crocheting ability and just how easy it makes things for me. So we'll talk about each one of the features individually and why I like them personally. But I wanted to focus in first on the main component of this lamp and that is the 24 watt bulb in the lamp. So it has a sort of an oversized lamp that you can see in the frame here and that makes for a really big illumination area. So no matter where you put it, this thing puts out a ton of light. So you'll find that really all you need to use is this lamp. You can have every light off in your room and have just this lamp on and you can see perfectly as though it were the broad daylight. The first thing you can do is you can move the lamp up and down and I'm going to demonstrate that for you here. Now that's going to be helpful in positioning the bulbs. Depending on if you're sitting directly under it or right next to it, the lamps are relatively bright. So you might want to position the lamp downward a little bit. That way it's not right in your eyes. In addition to being able to move the lamp up at the top, you can also move the arm that the lamp is being held up by. And I'll demonstrate that for you here. Now this would also be good for just the positioning of the lamp. Like I said before, if you're sitting right under it, it is a relatively bright light. So you might want to focus that in away from your face so it's not directly in your eyes as you're working. So I wanted to take a couple of minutes to try and address some of the questions that you might have just about the product itself. So the type of material it's made out of, how big it is, and that way you can sort of make a decision on whether this product is going to be right for you. When you're using the floor lamp configuration, as we're seeing here, the height adjusts from about 46 and 3 quarter inches to 59 and a half inches tall. Now there's also a table lamp configuration, which we'll talk about next here. That has a height that adjusts from about 13 and 3 quarters to 25 inches high. There's also one other really important point I want to bring up because I do have members of my audience that are outside the US and Canada. Currently, this lamp is only available to U.S. residents and Canada residents excluding Quebec, and that is because of the type of plug that we have to plug it into the wall. One last thing I'll bring up just about the product itself is the type of material it's made out of. Now, when you look at this lamp in pictures, I know I thought this personally, that it, it looks like it's a metal, some type of metal, lightweight aluminum, or something like that when in actuality it's made out of a plastic material. So the plastic material does have sort of a metal color to it, but in making it a plastic, it makes it much more lightweight. So it's easier to put together, to break it down, to move it from one location to the other. So that's something I was pleasantly surprised about. So right off the box, there is gonna be some simple and minor assembly required, depending on which configuration you're gonna use the lamp in. So what you see in your frame here are two of the main components that you'll get right when you open the box. You see the base here and the arm for the floor lamp assembly. I'm gonna demonstrate real quick just how simple and easy this thing comes together. In addition to these two components, you have the main attachment, which is the lamp. 
and that's going to have everything you need feature-wise. That has the clamp, the magnifying arm, as well as the illuminating hood and the power plug to turn everything on. So what I have here are the three pieces that you're going to need, just the three little pieces of hardware, in order to secure the floor lamp assembly. You're simply going to take the arm and place it right down into the base. Now from here, you'll want to turn it upside down and you'll see there's a hole where you can place the bolt. So you want to assemble the hardware just like this and make sure your arm is in the right position. And then you're simply just going to tighten the bolt. Now once you get it in position, you just take the wrench And this part is very important. You want to make sure you get this nice and tight. That way your lamp doesn't move or wobble around as you move the arms. So what I'm focusing in on now is the top part of the floor lamp attachment. So there's one last piece of the puzzle, one more thing that you have to do in order to completing the floor lamp assembly and that's to add in the lamp attachment. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. So what we want to do is simply drop that down into the hole. And as you can see, it doesn't fit just like this, so we're not done. We need to rotate the lamp to the side and sort of push down as we go. And there you saw it pop into place. And then we sort of twist it to lock it in place. And that completes the assembly for the floor lamp. The floor lamp configuration is really great for situations where you have a relatively small working space or a small desk. Like you can see here, I don't really have a lot of room for the, the base on this desk, so it works out better as a floor lamp. So this is the configuration that I found myself using most often with this setup, and that's as the table lamp. So you're simply just taking the top part of the lamp, so that third component there, and you're using the base that you use for the floor lamp. You're just removing that big long arm in between. So you simply place the top part into the base, tighten the bolt underneath, and you're ready to go. There's really no more assembly required than that. It's very simple, very easy to use. So here is what the attachment for the lamp looks like up close where I mentioned there's a little plastic piece that fits right down into the base. So when you're configuring this as the tabletop lamp, you're simply just going to place the attachment directly into the base, just like that. And from there, all you would need to do is flip the base upside down, tighten the bolt underneath, and you're all set to go. Here's an up-close shot of what the clamp attachment looks like. And so just like you saw me install it into the base, you're going to work it exactly the same when you're making it into the tabletop. You're just going to slide that piece directly into that hole and you're all set to go. So here it is being used as a clamp on desk clamp. This is a really cool option for if you have a tighter space on your desk. If you don't have room for the base, then you can just simply clamp it to the side of the desk and it still has full mobility so you can place the arms wherever you'd like. You can place the the lamp hood wherever you'd like. So this lamp has a lot of really cool features going on and I just want to talk a little bit about each of them just so you can decide if this lamp is right for you. So we're first going to focus in on the LED magnifier arm. Okay, so that's what you see here. And this, of course, is a movable arm, so it has an arm just like the clamp that we'll talk about later. And so you can move it very easily into whichever position you need to be able to use it. The magnifier that you see here, the bigger part, is a 2x magnifier. So whatever you see in here is going to be two times larger than in real life. And we'll talk about, there's a small section here, which you can't really see in this frame. 
but that is a 4x magnifying lens. So in this small circle right here, anything that you place under this little circle is going to appear four times larger than they are in real life. I have found that the magnifier arm makes it really great for when you're working with threads in the instance of where you're crocheting a doily or something along those lines, but also when you're working with a really dark yarn. So I mentioned that the magnifier arm has an LED, so I wanted to spin this around and show you that the LED lights are all the way around the magnifier. Now I'm going to turn on the light and you'll see that it is quite bright. So that's what you have to work with when you're using this magnifier arm. You have this really bright light paired with the magnifier. I can also see this being really great for those who cross stitch or who do needlepoint work. I'm going to let this magnifying arm speak for itself here in this clip because there's really no better way to demonstrate how awesome this is without actually seeing it for yourself. So as you're sitting on the couch or sitting at your desk or wherever, this is going to be your view from the magnifying arm. And I mentioned in a previous clip that the bigger outer part, so this big circle, is a 2x magnifying lens. Then I also mentioned that there was a 4x magnifying circle. Okay, so that's what you're seeing, this little piece right there. And what I'm going to do is just sort of lift this mandala in a better location over that 4x magnifying lens. And there, you see how that comes into focus, and it makes it four times bigger than what it is in real life. And it's a little bit hard to tell from the 2x side of things, but if you look at the stitches within this frame right here versus just outside of the magnifying lens, you will see that those stitches are bigger. And so this is really one of the greatest things for me about this lamp. This little feature right here completely gets rid of your eye strain. I also have the LED lights turned on for the magnifying lens. So the magnifying lens, the LED lights are, are very bright and actually that's the only light that I have on in this frame right now. So it's fully lighting up the space where my desk is located right now. But the cool thing about it is you don't get any of that in your eyes. So you can sort of see the glow back here from where the lights are, but you're not getting that harsh brightness that's what's actually underneath. So if you were to simply rotate this over, you would see just how bright those lights are. One of the other great features that is very simple but still has a lot of impact for this lamp is the clamp arm. Now this is perfect, as you can see here, for clamping up instructions or your pattern or any type of piece of paper that you might be working on when you're doing your crafting. So in our case, it'll be a crochet pattern or maybe a crochet diagram. And you can position it so that it's right in front of your face so that you don't have to look away from your work. You can just simply glance up at the diagram or the pattern and continue as you work. So again, this clamp is mounted on the same type of arm as the magnifying arm. So this moves in any direction and it stays put. Wherever you want it to sit, that's where it will stay. Another really cool feature of the Ultimate 3-in-1 lamp and this is one of the things that sets it apart from the standard 3-in-1 lamp that's available from Otlight. We're focusing in on here is there's a plug. So you can use this to plug in your cell phone if you need to charge your phone or your tablet. And you can also plug in some craft tools. So if you work with a hot glue gun or something along those lines, you can plug it into the lamp here. It'll provide power to that tool. And then you can continue on your work and have everything sort of compact and where you need it. Let's talk a little bit about the base for the Ultimate 3-in-1 lamp. This is also one of the cool features that would probably otherwise go unnoticed. So when you're looking at it here, it really doesn't look like much. It's just a very standard base. But one of the things I noticed, and you'll notice as soon as you take this out of the packaging, is this is a very sturdy base. I actually weighed it. This thing weighs 11 and a half pounds almost. So it's really sturdy. It's, it's going to be the thing that helps 
keep your lamp in place while you're moving these arms around. One of the things I noticed when using the Ultimate 3-in-1 as a floor lamp is that the base, when you're using it on a carpeted floor, it does move a little bit. And I'm going to point this out exactly why I think this is because there is a little strip underneath the lamp and you can see it in the frame here where there's a little bit of room there. Now when you're using it as a desk lamp it's actually very sturdy. My table here is what is actually wobbling. But when you're putting this on a carpet, and we have sort of the long carpet, it does move around a little bit when you're moving the arms. However, I've never gotten into a situation where the lamp has fallen over or anything like that. So you can rest assured that the base here and how much weight is involved in the base is going to keep it very sturdy for you. If you have a hardwood floor or if you're putting this on a tile floor, I don't think you're going to have that problem whatsoever. I would definitely recommend this product to a friend or to anybody who may have trouble seeing their stitches or anybody who is working with a darker yarn, a thread, somebody who does cross stitching or quilting or needlepoint, anything where that magnifying arm would come in handy but also where you need some really good lighting. So definitely those darker color yarns, those darker color fabrics. This light is going to, it's going to really make your life much easier. I found that out just in working with a baby blanket, working with a navy blue yarn in a poorly lit room. This thing has really made a difference. I, I can see the difference in my eye strain. I'm not straining to see the stitches anymore and that makes the overall experience a lot more pleasurable and you can work on your projects for longer with this handy little lamp. There are several things to consider when thinking about making a purchase like this. The price is definitely a factor whether it's available in your area or if the space that you have and the size of the lamp. If there's anything that I can help you with then please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Contact me at BeHookedCrochet.com and I'll do whatever I can to help you throughout this decision-making process. Because what's right for me may not be right for everybody else, but I'm definitely here to offer you an unbiased opinion of this product and help you throughout the decision-making process. Mm -hmm.